assalamu alaikum friends my name is mohammad yunus and i am coder technical developer so in the previous video we have already discussed about how to add a field in the tree view and also in the form view so in this video we are going to talk about how to add uh, the search like the quick search uh, for this tree view so quick searches are available only in the list view or in the kanban view so if you go to the quotation you will see also the search option here if you go to the um, sales team you will also see the this is actually the Kanban view and you can see uh, this uh, search view also so if you go to the product so here this is the list view and you can see the searches option if you go to the Kanban you also can see the search option so here in this search option if we, I click anything like computer so you can see some of the quick searches appear to search uh, for the term like for the product uh, product category processor and attributes the so processor we have added using the udo debug mode but in this video we are going to edit by inheriting the search view and uh, edit edit through the custom module okay so um, if i just search it like this it will show me the uh, product with the name computer okay so uh, and there is another option if uh, we click on this filters you can also see some quick searches if you click here uh, let me just remove this filter if you click here to show me the products that are services you will see the services product if you want to see the products with uh, consumable or stockable you will see it like this so these are some quick searches that has been added and in this video we are just going to discuss about this and we also have the group by options to add a group by so first of all uh, in order to customize any of the view you first need to activate the debug mode so the purpose of the activating the debug debug mode or the developer mode is to find out the external id of the view so uh, is the debug mode has already been activated you can click this debug mode and then go to this edit search view so in in any case like if you want to customize the kanban view you need to go to the kanban view and then uh, you need to click on edit view kanban in case of the tree view you need to click on the edit view list so you cannot a see the list view in this case because we are on the Kanban view so if you switch to the list view and then click here you will see the list view so this is how you can switch the views and customize it but in this case we want to uh, we want to customize the uh, search view so you need to click on this edit search view so here uh, is the external id uh, for this view so uh, in order to uh, inherit this view first we need to uh, find out uh, the view as we can see this view is defined inside this uh, product module so we can easily find out uh, by just going to the product module uh, from here inside Odoo default add-ons this is the product module and then views and then uh, search here so in order to use the shortcut keys what you can do is uh, control shift and then F and then it will automatically pop up and then paste the view so this here you can you have three options so this is inherit id this is search view id but this is the id the first option is the id so we need to open the view which uh, says the id and matches exactly so this is uh this is the view that we are looking for so in this case we will just uh copy this portion uh, because we just want to inherit this view and then we will paste it here like this and then uh, close this stick and then close this stick again so then we need to um, uh, like uh, select everything and then reformat the code you will see it like this and then in our in order to inherit it we need to use uh, the inherit id so add field is name is equal to inherit id and then a reference so inside the reference we need to use the external id of the view so in this case the external id of the view is this one so let me just copy it and add it here and then close the tag so this is how simply you can inherit the view and then we need to use uh, the x path uh, to add 
our custom fields so first of all we have added this x processor uh, we just need to remove it okay and uh, we have also added uh, in invoice policy inside the group by so we just need to remove this also okay just need to remove this one so that we can add it to the custom module so here in this view you you can find the structure of the view from this uh, from uh, here uh, like where you want to add uh, this so we want to add it just after the name or category id so in this case we want to add it just after the name so for this purpose uh, what we will do here is uh, add x path expr double uh, forward slash and then here we need to copy this field and then name is equal to name field and then at the rate name is equal to name and then uh, position we need to define the position like where we want to add it so if you want to add it before it so you need to use the attribute before but we want to add it after okay and then close it like this so here uh, we just need to add it same like it has been added already so uh, we can use a field name is equal to what is the name of our field here in the model we have added processor so let me just copy it and paste it here and then we need to add the string okay so here you can see the string so the string will be visible to the users so here we will add like processor and then filter domain so what this means so filter domain means like on what basis you you want to filter this record so uh here you can see it has been added like a uh, filter uh, so let me just copy this code and then explain it again uh, copy it and then paste it here uh, we need to add like this okay and then close it so here it says uh, default code i like so self means whatever we enter here inside uh, this search view so for example if i add here processor so whatever i enter here this this value will be considered as self okay and then it will be compared with this uh, field so here you need to add the technical name of the field which is processor so let me add processor i like means it should not match exactly to the uh, whatever term added in the search so if you add double equal to it will return only the result in case the search term is exactly matching with the record uh, name okay so uh, this is uh, like we have added the filter domain and then uh, we need to upgrade the module so let like go to the apps and then search for the module which is Odoo product and then click the upgrade button to upgrade the module so uh, after the module upgrade we will see it so let me just refresh the page and if i add here processor so here you can see processor has been added like this okay as you can see this processor this is actually the one that we have uh, already added using the view so let me just remove this one uh, inside the search view okay remove this one and also remove the group by and then save it okay refresh it okay processor like this and if you go to the processor and hit enter you will it will return the record where the processor is set so if i add something wrong processor like this and hit enter if you will not it will not return anything because it does not match uh, with this uh, term okay so this is how you can add uh, the uh, quick search so now we will discuss uh, the second thing like uh, here you can see processor not set so processor not set means if return me like show me the records where this field is empty how we can do it so if you go to the search view and uh, like here we have used a field name is equal to processor and then filter domain but in that case uh, 
if you want to use uh, the quick uh, clickable search you need to add filter and then string and then name and then the domain okay so uh, like in this case we have added it like this okay so let me just uh, remove it okay and here uh, we want to add it just after the product okay uh, so we will add another x path x path is uh, expr uh, like double uh, forward slash so here we have added field but in this case we will add filter because we want to add after this filter okay so filter and name is equal to what is the name of this filter consumable consumable and here we need to add the position after okay so here we need to add filter name is equal to name should be whatever uh, we have defined as technical name of the field and then we need to add the string which is processor not set okay and then we need to add the domain like only show me the records where processor is false okay so and then close the take like this one this is it and go to the apps upgrade the module OD product so let me just add this search inside the favorites OD product and then click here to save it so whenever we go to the apps it will show me this module so we want to just quickly upgrade the module and then uh, let me just save this okay save this we cannot save it okay we have done a mistake we need we have to close this and then save it so let me refresh it so if you refresh it so here you can see product processor not set so if you click here it will show me the records where the processor is not set if i remove it it will show me all the records you can see 30 and if i click here it will show 29 records because it is only set for one record so this is it for this video if you uh, your tasks for uh, your task is to add uh, this um, field uh, like uh, in the group by section which you uh, can understand just if you go into this view here you can see this is the group by section so you just need to add the uh, use the x path and the same format to add uh, in the group by section so uh thank you guys for watching this video please uh give a huge thumbs up to this video uh please uh, for uh don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos thank you